Learning is a lifelong journey and every step you take to acquire knowledge brings you close to your goal and aspiration. Embrace the process and enjoy the discovery along the way. Programmability helps solve issues that arise from managing one device at a time and therefore is an important tool to achieve organizational goals. Understanding the issues that you face as a network engineer and how programmability can help solve those issues will give you a starting point in your journey to achieving everyday tasks more efficiently. Hello friends, my name is Sabi and in today's video, we'll start about network programmability. The traditional method of device configuration by a network engineer generally includes connect a device through a console port by telnet or by SSH. Then configure the device, copy the configuration to the notepad, search the configuration for all the variables that need to change on each device. Then connect to the device and copy the edited configuration back to the device. For quite some time, we are using this process for many years. It is not optimal for large networks. Configuring one device at a time via the CLI is slow because the speed is based on human interaction as you copy and manipulate configuration for multiple devices. Further, the process is error prone and not repeatable because it involves copying and manipulating configurations for multiple devices. To solve this problem, SNMP was introduced in 1988. SNMP provides its user with a simple set of operations that allows device to manage machine to machine. While SNMP was written for configuring and monitoring devices, it is best known for its monitoring capabilities. Instead of single user connecting to a device for information, a network management server pools device for information. The devices rely with the requested data, but because of the shortcoming with SNMP, the devices reply with the requested data, but because of the shortcoming with SNMP, it was never really been used to configure the device. So while SNMP solved one problem, it didn't solve all the problems. Consider a small network. Network engineers successfully manage the network. They will need to know things such as routing protocol, STP, security policies, segmentation, quality of service, etc. But what happens when the network grows and more services added? In the beginning, the engineer might handle everything using Bash script along with the CLI. However, at some point of time, they won't be able to keep up the network growth. So we start using Ansible as a configuration management tool with the other scripting languages like Python and Perl scripts. All these tools help to manage multiple devices simultaneously while also minimizing the error and allowing the engineers to be more productive. However, there is a downside. These tools do not create any automation strategy. Automation in production requires proper control as a part of cohesive network management strategy. To address the problem of network growth and how to manage it, we need an automation strategy. Based on that, network programmability and automation comes into picture. When we talk about network programmability, it's a set of tools for deploying, managing and troubleshooting network devices. The benefits include saving time and money because Automation reduce your infrastructure complexity. Fewer hours are required for configuring, provisioning and managing the network. Reducing human errors by removing the change for human errors. Companies can offer and deliver a higher level of services with more consistency. Increasing innovation through a agile network. Automation enables companies to develop operational models that improve the time to market. They can add new services and test new applications resulting in a great competitiveness and more profit. Increasing network insight and control. So the automation helps IT operation becomes more responsive to change through analytics. You can gain more visibility into the network to control and adapt it as needed. Increasing the strategy workforce by utilizing automation companies can increase productivity allowing them to drive business improvement and innovation and to create new job opportunities. The network programmability often mention automation and orchestration. 
so automation accomplish repeatable tasks without human intervention orchestration combines a series of tasks to accomplish a process of workflow so automation and orchestration brings many benefit to an organization a programmable enabled network is driven by intelligent software that can work with a single device or a group of devices the software generally used apis which allows different application to talk to each other when programmability started first vendors began offering vendor specific apis to program and control network devices such as vendor specific apis would be the cisco nexus api used in cisco nexus data centers later vendors open apis like netconf the network configuration protocol and representational state transfer configuration protocol the rest conf will be used then it further evolved uses a controller to manage the devices the application will communicate to the controller through the northbound apis using rest api there are standard open apis the controller then communicate with the network devices using southbound apis normally used as netconf or grpc example such as Cisco DNS center apic then contrail then we have nsp with nokia through this evolution we can see the importance of learning programmability to develop application that communicate directly to devices or understand the communication on the northbound and southbound apis of controllers by now if still you are not familiar what exactly an api and what are the benefits of using one is API is a software intermediary that allows two application talk to each other and is characterized as follows with the significant advantage of APIs is that you do not have to build communication from scratch all of that has been taken care by the vendors this allows faster prototyping to prove if an idea will work and increase implementation speed APIs separate functionality into blocks a client runs the application while a server runs the api the only thing you need to understand is how information is been exchanged throughout the year we have many types of apis so in our next video we'll discuss about the apis in detail thank you for watching this video